Hello again, students, and welcome to another lesson using www.sketchup.com free. Today, by popular demand, we're going to create a 3D model of a playground. And in the end, you can customize the playground to make it unique. But first, we have to craft all the parts. And to, you, to create the parts, you'll need to have plans. And so I'm going to open the plans right now. First, remember, navigate to your Google Classroom. And playground design phase one. Go to the instructions. You'll start with polls. So double click and open up this PDF. You may have to zoom in. And you can see the first pole. It's called the main pole. And it's going to be 96 inches long. And the diameter is 4 inches. When the diameter is 4 inches, that means the radius is 2 inches. So now you go back to your software. And you're going to open it up. Remember, you might have to sign in with your Google account. As quickly as possible, navigate to free SketchUp. Right and SketchUp for web. I'm launching it. There's the familiar blue logo. So step one is to create new simple template feet and inches. You're going to go to the information tab. Model info, select the decimal, leave the default precision, maybe change the snap interval to 0.125 inches. Enter, that's an eighth of an inch. Select the five foot eight lady and hit delete. Go to the scenes tab, put it in parallel projection, and I'm gonna put it in top view initially because I wanna be looking straight down on the poles. So the first thing to do is create that circle that creates the pole it's a circular pole. You want to go to the circle drawing tool. It's right here, circle. It's under the rectangle. Go to the origin, select. And then as you're drawing it out, look down to the bottom right. You'll see radius. And you, what you want to do is enter two and then the enter key. Uh, that's now a four inch diameter. And then you're going to use the orbit tool to orbit a little bit. And then use the push pull tool to select your profile and push up. And then type 96 in the bottom right. See, it says distance. Type 96 and then enter. You may zoom out with your mouse wheel. And you can orbit if you so choose. That's your first part. It's called main pole. So I want you to click save. And then SketchUp, I recommend you create a folder called Playground. You can add folder. In this case, I'm going to make call it Playground 2. Playground 2, and then Create. So you see now I've created a new folder called Playground 2. And then down here in the name of the, down here in the bottom right left, you want to name it Main Pole and then save here. And it's going to be going into my Playground 2 folder. You should just call it Playground. All right, saving. So there's your main pole. I recommend then to return to the top view and then draw another circle right on that red axis. And again, two inches, hit Enter. Click. Now you. You can orbit again. This, if you refer back to your plan, this is called the long pole, and it's 123 inches tall by a four inch diameter. So I have the four inch diameter there, but I have to push pull it out, click, and pull it out, and then enter the number one, two, three, enter. For, and again, double check 123 inches is what the plan calls for. So now that's going to be my long pole.
I recommend going to the top pole, top view again. We're going to create the short pole. So select, drag, it says radius, click. That's four inches. Is ra radius two inches. That means the diameter is four inches. Use the orbit tool. Use the push pull tool. You pull this 27 inches. That's your short pole. Right here, short pole, 27 inches. And finally, look at the monkey pole. Notice the monkey pole has a diameter of two inches, which means its radius is only one inch. So this pole has a radius of one inch and a length of 36. It's a diameter of two inches. So again, top view, draw a circle. Click on this line, click. Now you want to type one on the keypad. So you see down at the bottom right where it says radius, you got a one and hit enter. Now that's a two inch diameter and you can orbit and then you can grab the push pull tool, select the profile, pull it up and then type 36 down at the bottom right and then hit enter. And there you have a 36 by two monkey pole. And just refer back, it says monkey pole. There are your four poles. You could, at this point, take a screenshot of those. I think that's fine. Hit print screen. Or you can, you can save them. I'm going to save as poles, actually. Select, save as. Playground 2. I'm going to call these poles. So that's all four poles. It's saving right now. All right. Now I'm going to export as PNG. Remember, export as PNG. That shows all four poles. And there's my image. It's four of the 10 pieces I want you to make for this lesson. Turn that in and that will be at four tenths of the assignment credit. Let's continue. I'm gonna select home. Create new, simple template, feet and inches. Remember, use the decimal format. Precision, leave it as the default. Change to 0.125 snap interval. Make sure you go to the scenes tab and you're in parallel projection. I'm going to go with top view. You select the five foot eight lady and hit delete on, on that. Now I want to go to the next plan. That's my crayon pole. You notice here it has a three inch diameter. So the radius is one and a half and it has a length of 36 inches. And the measurement from the pointy tip top to this little shelf is five inches, which remains remains 31 inches from the rest down. Okay, so now also you can look at over here. Notice the diameter from here to here is 2.5 inches. And the point is one inch diameter, which means it has a half inch radius. So with all that information, you have to go to SketchUp, start with a central axis line. Select here. Moving up, type 36, enter, and don't get alarmed if it's small, just zoom in. Now, as I recall, it did say one inch diameter, which means I have to look at my length in the bottom right and see an inner 0.5 there. And now I'm gonna go down five inches. So I, go, I can just go straight down, five, enter. Then I'm gonna go over one inch, enter and then I'm going well you can zoom out if you like you can 
grab the pan tool if you need to and push it up and then again return to the pencil tool straight down to the very bottom red axis select and then over here select you did it right you'll see that profile now go to the move tool and you want to zoom in on this point right here and stretch it over to where that says 0.75 in the distance in the bottom right you see let it go now your profile is very nice for the crayon pole at this point you want to put it in i guess front view you're going to select the circle Select the origin, drag it all the way out to the right. And then once you have a circle, this is what you're going to use to, to um, follow me tool. Interesting. You're going to use that follow me tool. It's under the push pull tool. First, select the profile. Then select this point right where your circle meets the red axis. Click. It looks like I have a crayon pull. Click save. Make sure you save it into your playground folder. Call it crayon pool. Save here. It would be advantageous right now to export as a PNG. Don't forget to select export as PNG. Now you have a new image and you've made five of the 10 parts required for this assignment. I hope this video helps. Look for part two of this video. Good luck.